Hello everyone, and I want to welcome you to today's Open Heavens Reflections. The Open Heavens Reflections are based on the Open Heavens devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboe. My name is Akinola Shoroe, and by the grace of God, I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God Victory Center in Southeast London. Our topic for reflections today is fraud in business dealings. Fraud in business dealings. And a Bible passage is a very long one. It's taken from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 5, verses 1 to 13. And there was a great outcry of the people and their wives against the Jewish brethren. For there were those who said, We, our sons and our daughters, are many. Therefore, let us get grain that we may eat and live. And there were also some who said, We have mortgaged our lands and vineyards and houses that we might buy grain because of the famine. There were also those who said, we have borrowed money for the king's tax on our lands and vineyards. Yet now our flesh is as the flesh of our brethren, our children as their children. And indeed, we are forcing our sons and our daughters to be slaves. And some of our daughters have been brought into slavery. It is not in our power to redeem them, for all the men have our lands and vineyards. And I became very angry when I heard their outcry and these words. After serious thought, I rebuked the nobles and the rulers and said to them, Each of you is exacting usury from his brother. So I called a great assembly against them. And I said to them, According to our ability, we have redeemed our Jewish brethren who are sold to the nations. Now, indeed, will you even sell your brethren? Or should they be sold to us? Then they were silenced and found nothing to say. Then I said, What are you doing? Or what you are doing is not good. Should you not walk in the fear of our God because of the reproach of the nations, our enemies? I also, with my brethren and my servants, am lending them money and grain. Please, let us stop this usury. Verse 11, Restore now to them, even this day, their lands, their vineyards, their olive groves and their houses, also a hundredth of the money and the grain, the new wine and the oil that you have charged them. So they said, we will restore it and we require nothing from them. We will do as you say. Then I called the priests and required an oath from them that they would do according to this promise. Then I shook out the fold of my garment and said, so may God shake out each man from his house and from his poverty who does not perform this promise. Even those, even those may he be shaken out and emptied. And all the assembly said, Amen. And praise the Lord. And the people did according to this promise. Our memory verse is uh, taken from the book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 11. You shall not steal nor deal falsely nor lie to one another. Our reflections. The average person sees fraud as something that is committed on a big scale for thousands of pounds. However, the word fraud actually means wrongful or criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. Have you told a lie in any form in order to benefit financially? If that is the case, put it right, because any financial increase you obtain through fraud will only bring sorrow in the future. Our key point for today is, when you occupy a public office, you are accountable to God and to the people you're serving in that office. Thank you so much for watching with us today. Until I come your way again, goodbye and God bless.